Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Yakuza 0 Blind. In the last episode, we got really deep into the real estate royale business, taking over the Leisure Kings district entirely. Uh, and in this episode, we're going to be continuing onward. Uh, I found the last property in the area that we haven't bought, uh, just a little bit south of the Serena. Pachinko New Eden. This location is great, so it seems like it always does good business. Uh, what should I do? Uh, only 18.4 mil? That's nothing, baby. I love it. <laughs> I love that little smirk that he does at the end of it. It's so good. Uh, and that is 100% in the Leisure King district. Hell yeah. Uh, earn 100% share in any area. Let's go. You managed to defeat the Leisure King, Kiryu san. Honestly, I'm impressed. I'm glad I asked you to take over. Um, excuse me. The Leisure King stopped by a little while ago, apparently to say hello. What's going on here? Uh. He'll be working with us here, actually. He was tough as an opponent, but we'll be much better off with him as an ally. Is that okay with you, Yamanoi-san? Hey. He did come to apologize to me directly, and I'm not one to allow petty feelings to get in the way of acquiring valuable manpower. I agree, we should bring him aboard. The Leisure King also brought some property deeds and left them for you, to make up for things, he said. I checked them, and it turns out their property's located in the other five billionaires' areas? Let's fucking go! Okay, worth. Uh, they should serve as perfect beachheads for when moving our way into our, those areas. <laughs> the Media King's area is going to take a little bit of time to get ready, but I already have the other three prepped. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so we're, we're going way into this now. Uh, I know that's a lot of new work on your plate, but let's do our best, Mr. President. Okay. So... Time to really, oh god, really get into this, huh? Okay. Well, I suppose in that case, um, what do I want to do here? I think I want to leave. Okay, actually, no, we are we are running at a, a hell of loss here. Um, so I want to continue to invest into areas. Um, this should max out the health plaza. Very nice, very nice. And I need to keep this place coming in at a steady pace of income. So I always have stuff to play my cards in the other areas. I'm, I love this. Um, the Gnocchi Gnocchi Academy, a uh, masochistic man, of course, knows his way around uh, a pleasure facility. Um, Harashima Design, a uh, masochistic man really knows this area big time um health wild apple once again very good for masochistic man okay and um we can also completely max out popo tenkaichi street here this is so cool my brain is like yes check those boxes let's go <laughs> Trying to save as much money as possible while making as much money as possible here. Um, okay. So, this one's at C, and let's give it a nice fat boost from Granny here. Very good, and we should very soon max that one out as well, and then have a pretty, a pretty solid line of income here. But first, I need to make sure to uh, reset my managers here. So let's remove... And then let's, um, I guess I'll leave you on the case so that, um, we can just kind of get some steady income instead of trying to, because I want, I want to save my really good managers for when I have to deal with money battles with the other five billionaires, I think. And then security, uh, who's my worst security guy? Um... Li Lung is not great. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's looking like it might be Li Lung. Like that, that number four is okay, but it's not. <laughs> it's not super awesome. So let's put him on duty, so that um, we can start dealing with that. No problem. Okay, and I don't wanna I don't wanna bite off more than I can chew here. So I want to um who am I most interested in? The Electronics King seemed like an interesting guy. I'm surprised the Media King is so 
so highbrow because the media king was the one who talked the least in the last area because the gambling king was the one doing all the talking and then these other two were quite the characters. Um, let's start looking at the electronics king area. Again, I don't want to go like hella overboard. Um, well, do re mi fa zone. I guess I'll invest a bit into it, not to do anything too crazy here. All right, so who are we gonna put on the case here? Um, let's, I'm just an average guy, I'll do my best. Okay, this is a different guy, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Um, oh yeah, we have the Leisure King now. Yeah, the Leisure King is just better Sachiko, basically, but for double the price? Huh. Hmm. I think we can afford it. Should be okay. And then, um... These aren't muscles, I just have a big chest. <laughs> uh, let's put, um... Let's put these two together as a duo. Let's see, let's see how good they do. We're spending almost a million yen each time we send them out, which is kind of rough, but... Um, it should be fine. I think. And... Just to start getting our foot in the Pleasure District area, let's um, really give this a boost. That did not do as much as I thought it would. Um, and we can... Um, who, do we, who do we want to put out here? Sachiko, you've done good work for me before, and you know your way around... <laughs> I'm not going to finish that sentence. Um, we're, I think you can infer. Um... These two were working pretty solid as a duo, so I think I want to put uh, them together. So, uh, not bad. Not a bad little deal going on here. Um, let's send them out to work. And I'm gonna wait on the Gambling King. I don't wanna, I don't wanna bite off more than I can chew here. So we are going to let that play out. Oh yes, Kiryu-san, I forgot to tell you about upgrading the interior. Okay, now I can do this. I mean the decor here? Yes, I have an all I have an old connection who can help us change the interior of our office for free even. Free, huh? That's great. Now that you mention it, it's kind of boring if we're looking at the same four walls all the time. Might be good to change thing up, change things up. I completely agree. If you want to upgrade the interior, just let me know. You can now upgrade the interior of Kiryu's office. Talk to Yamanoi when you want to change this decor. Only the default interior is available at the start. You can use completion points earned from the completion list. Yes, yes. I've already unlocked two of them. So, anything I can do for you? Upgrade. Does it cost money? What kind of interior would you like? A cool red and terrace green. Cool red sounds neat. Let's let's give it a look. It doesn't seem to cost any more money. That looks nice. Actually, I really dig this. Everything feels fresh. Let me know if you want to change it again. Okay. I'm kind of digging this. It's just it's just a palette swap. It's not like a like a crazy upgrade. Like all the furniture is way different. I'm I'm liking this. But let's check out the green. Green is probably my least favorite of, like, you know, the basic primary and secondary colors. Maybe orange, but, um, let's give it a look. It could look nice. Uh, it, it's a little too Christmassy for my liking, and I don't like the alphabet, <laughs> the alphabet wallpaper. So, uh, I, I think we're going to go back to red, more than likely. Much better. Much better. <laughs> okay. So, uh, that is that for now. Um, how much did that... Wow, look at how fast that's already going. This is fantastic. Okay. Um, I think next up we are going to go, um, take care of that little boy that we found. Hello, are you lost? Uh... Hmm. Oi. Hey, this is no place for a kid all alone. It's not safe. Go home to your mom. I don't want to. I don't like my mom when she's mad. Oh, okay. What, your mom got angry with you? Yep, I wanted to buy something from this super cool vending machine, but she flipped out. A super cool vending machine. Not like this one here. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like that. Okay, it's the very expensive ones. It's a lot bigger, and it's lit up with these bright lights. It's really, really cool. Why did your mom get angry over that? I don't know. My mom is always really nice, but she got really, really mad this time. She looked scary. I'm gonna guess your father had a gambling problem. 
Okay, so what are you doing here? My mom went out, so I took a train here. You came all the way here by yourself? That's pretty gutsy. I gotta hand it to you, kid. <laughs> I did a lot of chores and saved up all my allowance. Good for you. It's tough for a kid your age to save money. Mm. Yep, I worked really hard to get this far. But... What's wrong? I want to buy something from the cool vending machine, but it's at the back of an alley. It's dark and kind of scary. Mm. A dark alley is dangerous for a kid by himself. Got it. And you're right. You're not. You're, you're, you're smart not to go into a dark alley alone. Mm. Yep, that's why I can't decide what to do. Well, I get what's holding the kid back, but does he want a soda that badly? Maybe I should just go get it for him myself. Sure, we'll buy it. Okay, you win. I'll go buy from this cool vending machine of yours. You be good and wait here, deal. <laughs> You'll do that for me? Yay! <laughs> Didn't expect anyone to be so happy over this. So, where is this special vending machine? <laughs> it's over this way. Follow me. It's going to be a million yen one, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa, rain it in, big guy. He's so cute with kids. I can't wait for him to have eight of them. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about that. It's in here. Okay. There it is. Huh? Oh, no. Oh... Oh. Oh. Oi. Hey, your cool vending machine. Is it really that one there? Yep. Is something wrong, mister? So, you... Uh... The kid was losing... It was looking at a vending machine shilling adult merchandise. No wonder his mom flipped her lid. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> See? Isn't it big and cool? There's no way I can give that junk to a kid. I hate to disappoint him, but I have to turn him down. Sorry, kid. I can't keep my promise. That vending machine is way out of your league. Go home to your mother. Huh? Why? Tell me why. You don't need to know just yet. But I already know something that, about that vending machine. There's secret magazines in it. Those magazines are covered in shrink wrap. They must be super important to be protected like that. My friend's big brother said so. The shrink wrap's not for protection. Not for the magazine, anyway. You'll understand one day. <laughs> oh, whoa, oh. 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 <laughs> Oh. But I want to understand now. They said it would be really educational. It's not something you need to learn now. Look, I'm an adult, but even I don't know very much. It's... Deep. It's not fair. You said you'd go buy it for me. Grown-ups always lie. Am I gonna grow up to be a liar, too? I don't wanna. When I was a kid, I used to think adults were unfair, too. Yet here I am, just another lying grown-up. <laughs> this is so dramatic. All right, a man doesn't go back on his word. I'll keep my promise and go buy your magazine. Let's find the the least bad one we can. Oh, you will? Of course, but you have to keep it a secret from your mom. Jesus, man. No matter what. Yay, you're getting my magazine. Yay. Keep it down. You want to be treated like a man? You got to be patient and quiet. Uh, yep. Sorry, mister. And thank you so much for helping me. You shouldn't expect too much. What a dilemma. I made that kid a promise, but I can't really give that stuff to a child. What do I do? This kid is the picture of a bright-eyed innocence. I can't give him the magazine, but I can fulfill my promise to buy it. Okay, I got this. It's too dangerous for you, so stay back. Let's do this. Oh, good. Someone's coming. Uh, I'm exhausted. Finally, a few minutes to myself. Well, we can't go out there now. It's gonna ruin our business image. Office workers on their break. Hmm? hmm? What do you suppose that man is doing there? Oh, you know, you, you know what's at the end of that alley. Oh, right. He must be lonely at night. <laughs> I'm surrounded. Better back off for now. How could, he, how could he bring a child with him? People are so shameless these days. Shh, he's coming this way. Man. This is rough. <laughs> What's wrong, mister? Aren't you going to buy it? Well, yeah, but see, that's not it. I, uh... If those, if the <laughs> Hi, Mr. Shakedown. <laughs> If those nosy women see me buying it, there's no telling what they'll say about it. I might have to wait them out. Oh, hi there, President Kiryu. Oh, okay. 
Hmm? What? This is bad. Nani? What's Marina doing here? Why here? Why now? Mister? It's nothing. <laughs> what brings you out here? Oh, just wandering around. What are you doing here? I take my break at this park every now and then. I usually read or just relax on that bench. Uh, okay. Sorry, we're in a hurry here. Oh, of course. See you then. I'll have to back up and hope for a chance. <laughs> this is so dramatic. Wait. Does he have a son? <laughs> Someday. Well, I guess we don't know. We don't we don't know if they'll all be girls or all be boys or whatever. Um, buying a shrink wrapped magazine. Kiryu must reach the vending machine at the back of the alley without attracting attention. If he is spotted, Kiryu will become flustered and retreat to the starting point. Kiryu can choose to abandon the vending machine quest by speaking to the boy. Begin your dubious quest. God damn it. I really gotta... I really, I really gotta go for it, huh? I gotta stealth get this fucking magazine. Okay. Um. What? Oh, President Kitty, what are you doing here? Oh, shit. No, nothing. Just taking a walk. Uh, sorry, but I'm in a hurry here. Of course, I'll see you then. Yeah. Um. Okay. But what if... Okay, so... Marina's coming this way, and I can't go around the back side. So I have to let Marina go over there. This is so stupid. Okay. And now I've got to go sneak back. Okay, very good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So what's the pattern here? We got one lady looking this way specifically, and now she's looking the other way. Okay, I see. Um. Fucking, you suck. Oh. Better back off. <laughs> God damn it, man. I got it. Let's go. <laughs> it straightens himself up. Oh my god. What a goober. <laughs> Congratulations, you were able to buy porn for a kid. Nice work. You were able to buy a shrink wrapped magazine. All that's left to do is give it to the innocent lad. Oh no. He's so excited about it too. This is the worst. <laughs> Yay, mister, you are so cool. This is far from cool. No way, you're my hero. Please, please, can I have it? Before I give you this, you have to promise something. Sure. This is important. You can't open this magazine until you get home. Even there, you can't let your mother see it. Ever. Huh? Where am I supposed to read it then? You can't let anyone know about it. You could only read it when you're alone. Okay, I got it. And... There's more? This is the last thing. Don't hide it under your bed. It's not as safe as you think. <laughs> the exasperated sigh. Okay, I don't really get it, but this sounds like it's pretty important. Good boy. This is bad. <laughs> Thank you, mister. I'll treasure it forever. It's really not that valuable. There will come a day when you don't need it anymore. Just be careful getting home, okay? Yep, thank you very much. See ya, dude. Grow up strong, kid. <laughs> I mean, he's good at saving for what he wants and stuff, I guess. Oh my god, no. No. It takes so much to be a man. <laughs> this is so stupid. With all this money that we have now, I think it's time we invest in ourselves a little bit. And holy crap. The whole thing opened up. I thought it would just be a piece or two. Okay, so let's start actually focusing on uh, <laughs> on upgrading our combat abilities again. Um, for 30 million yen, we can get 
Uh, the heat gauge rise when you taunt an enemy. Okay, we can get um, regard. Put your guard right again after an enemy breaks through it. This ability can only be used when calm on the first heat bar. Sounds decent. Um, essence of a steadfast encounter. Uh, ferocious assault unleashed after being knocked down. That sounds excellent. I would love to have that. Because for, for whatever reason, in Brawler specifically, I get knocked down a lot. So that's it for that. But we haven't put a whole big ton of money into Rush, though I don't have enough to uh, really do anything more with it. And Beast is, is, is looking pretty good, honestly, all things considered. So uh, speaking of these styles, uh, I think it's time that we, at least once per episode for a little bit, um, start going and talking to the master starting with our our big favorite man bacchus uh hey boy you you ready to learn my moves yes i don't remember what voice i gave this guy <laughs> sorry boy there's nothing i can teach you yet i think it was like that upgrade your abilities i haven't upgraded my abilities enough even still <laughs> keep honing your skills boy okay well then i guess we aren't doing it with you maybe uh, Tatsu, or I'm so sorry, I forgot the name of the other guy, our, our Rush mentor. He's cool, but I forgot his name. I got 13 CP a lot quicker than I thought I was going to, so let's go ahead and uh, and purchase that, our, our third and final office feng shui. And I'm very curious what it looks like. It's probably blue. Ooh, urban gray. That's not what I expected at all. Let's take a look and see how it appears. Ooh. You know... I kind of dig it. It's pretty dignified. I like the uh, the yellow curtains with the the gray wall. You know, I I think I like it. Yeah, we'll we'll roll with this for a bit. Is it time to collect yet? Uh, on one of them, on the important one, it is. That gets me two more upgrades. Wow, that's so much money. Good lord, keep it up. <laughs> Well, in that case, why don't we um, get a little bit more stuff? Um, let's take let's take the regard. Probably a, a decent thing, but it's probably connected to other even better things. So, um, deliver a brutal blow after performing a quick step. Ooh. Okay, I like that. Um, and put up your guard again right after an enemy can only be used on the first or second. So it's just it's just an enhanced version that can be used. Um, with the second heat gauge bar. I definitely want the uh, the dodge attack. Uh, basically, deadly dodge from Final Fantasy VII Remake. That game has been on my mind a lot. This is a really fucking big traffic cone. What is up with this thing? Good God. Why is it so large? <laughs> my health was starting to hurt a little bit because I genuinely think that the... the regular enemies are getting a lot more difficult as the game is going on. I think they probably scale in difficulty per chapter, it feels like. And uh, I figure that since we are starting to take over the Pleasure and Electronics King's districts, um, we can start buying out the, uh, the food establishments while we're here. So why not? Let's go ahead and get four here. Um... Smile Burger is the one that we have the, uh, the most progress in so far. Uh, the King Smile Burger set. This famous set comes with a King Smile Burger, fries, and a drink. Sounds delicious. It, it looks like a double decker. Um, tuna Burger. Sounds awful. A tasty tuna burger with a unique texture, fries, and a drink come with this set. No. Stewed Burger. A tender stewed pork burger with fries and a drink. That sounds interesting. I'd probably try that. And that is Smile Burger complete. So I noticed in the Electronics King area on the business tab that we can actually buy a Sega High Tech Land. Um, so why don't we uh, pop on in here and see what it is exactly we need to do to do that. Is there a sub story in here? Um, you have something going on. Well, usually people with like text boxes above them have quests, so... Unless they're like, you know, like like, like a shop owner or something. Um, like he just does that, but this lady just says, "Enjoy your stay." So, shot in the dark here. If I if I play Outrun, which I would love to do anyway, um, will I get a sub story? Well, I did pretty poorly. 
and I completely forgot how to play the damn game, but now I remember. Okay, so did that did that do anything for me? I wonder how do I leave? Aha, I knew it. Uh, that was some really good driving there. It really wasn't. I did very poorly because I completely forgot how to play OutRun, and <laughs> it's been so long. Uh, whatever. Uh, you think so? Thanks. Your steering was amazing. It really wasn't. I couldn't tear my eyes away. I picked up a few tips for my next run. Tips? So you play this game too. Yes, I've always loved racing games. That's great. No kidding. If you've been playing them a while, I guess. You're pretty good, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty fast if I do say so myself. <laughs> you sound confident. I'm no slouch. I could give you a run for your for your money. Probably. I know. Next time I get a new high score, I'll tell you about it, okay? Sure, let's see what you're made of. All right, my name's Luca, by the way. What's yours? It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san. Got it. Okay. Uh, Kiryu-san, I guess I'll see you around. Friendship with Luca. You got to know Luca. Interacting with her will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of this gauge at any time. I, I shouldn't. I don't need to read that. I've read that a billion times already. <laughs> okay. So I guess in that case, I I definitely want to do more of that. Sounds like a blast. Uh, do you have a, a high score for me to beat, Luca? Take your time and enjoy yourself? No, it doesn't seem like you do. All right, Luca, do you, do you perchance have another score for me to beat? No. Do I need to play Outrun to increase your meter? Maybe. That does, in fact, seem to be the case. Nice driving again, Kiryu-san. <laughs> Thanks. I'm really close to getting a new personal best score, so wish me luck. Uh. Sure, let me know how it goes. She's adorable. This is great. Oh, oh Kiryu-san. What's up? I finally got a new high score that should be a challenge to beat. Okay. Nice work. What score did you get? Get this. I got a total of 1.5 million points. I'm pretty sure I... I clear that. Wow, that's a pretty good score. You weren't lying about being good at these games. Huh? Hey, you didn't believe me? <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Anyway, while you're here, how about a challenge? Challenge. If you beat my high score the next time you play, I'll give you a present. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Great, are you ready for the challenge? Do I want to try this now? Sure. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I knew you couldn't resist. Okay, let's see if you can beat my score then. Uh, oh, the scores you get when competing against Luca don't count towards your completion list or rankings. That... aw. <laughs> Okay, so I have to beat 1.5 mil. That shouldn't be too hard. Pretty much if I just get to the first checkpoint, that's that's 2 mil. So, as long as I don't totally suck on that first, like, slalom segment. Why is gameplay recording paused all of a sudden? That's so weird. Also, my settings changed. Okay, whatever. Alright, well I didn't do great, but I, I mean, I more than doubled her score, so can't really complain about that. Wow, that's an amazing score! I do okay when I go all out. I can't believe you just blew past the score I worked so hard for, I'm sorry. Well, I came out on top this time, but if you keep at it, I think you can do even better. You really think so? Alright, I'll brush up on my racing skills and try to get a score you can't match. Yeah, let's go another round. You're on. Sounds excellent. Oh, here's the present I promised you. Take it. What's the present? I got an alertness hood. Uh, okay. What does it do? This hood helps break down alcohol in your body, allowing you to sober up quickly. That sounds nice for when I need to buy out a bar. Um, goodbye, comfy souls. We'll have a rematch then. I'll give it all I've got. Sure, let's see what you can do. Nice driving again, Kiryu-san. Thank you. Heh, <laughs> thanks. I'm really close to getting a new personal best score, so wish me luck. Sure, let me know how it goes. Oh, Kiryu-san. What's up? 
Great news! I got a new high score in the game! Yeah? How many points? I don't know how I pulled it off, but I got 3 million points! That's pretty good! That is only slightly less good than my best scores, so... 3 million? That's amazing! I was disappointed you won last time, so ever since then I've been practicing hard every day. Yeah, top players tend to be the type who don't really like to lose. <laughs> so what do you say, Kiryu-san? Think you can take me on? I can give it a go, for sure. I'm pretty confident I got you beat this time. If you can top my score, I'll do something really special for you. Something special. Let me see. Okay, if I lose, I'll give you the ride of your life. What do you mean? The ride of my life? Does she mean... <laughs> what is this music? Uh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm not telling, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Okay. Between you and me, I've been dying to just do it myself. I'm so I, I'm so into it. I bet you'd be amazing at it. This is... It's not... <laughs> it's not what you think. I would. She's offering me a ride. <laughs> what? Don't do that. No. <laughs> I'd be good at it. Stop. W what are you doing, game? Oh. <clears throat> Is something wrong, Kiryu-san? <laughs> Bro, you were shook! Uh, no, nothing. I'm okay. Relax. Oh, okay. So what do you say? Wanna try to beat my high score of three, 3 million points? This might be tough, but it'll be worth it. It's not gonna be what you think, but okay, man. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I knew you couldn't resist. Okay, let's see if you can beat my score then. Okay. Oh, Kiryu. Kiryu, Kiryu, Kiryu. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Those three cars had it out for me. They were just in a fucking line. Oh my god, man. I could have had it all. Ugh. Looks like I fell short. Haha, <laughs> that's too bad, kiddie son You're welcome to try again if you want. Remember, you, you gotta win if you still wanna ride with me. Yeah, definitely. I'll do better next time. Stop. Cut that out, bro. That's so weird. Okay. Well, I botched it pretty hard at the end there, but you know what? I, I beat the score, and that's really all that counts, huh? Holy cow, what an incredible score! You wiped the floor with me! Not really, I did about as good. Well, I did have to pull out all the stops. I really don't think I can top that one. Don't be silly. If, I, if you keep practicing, I'm sure you'll get an even better score. The more you play a game, the better you get at it. <laughs> that's kind of you to say. I'll keep doing my best. Oh. About that thing... Yeah? You sure you want to go through with this? Well, I can't do it right now. I'll take some preparation. Can I get you to come back later? Sure. I guess you need to work up some courage. I get it. I'll be back later. Thanks, I'm so excited. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ugh. Okay, what if I come back now? Are you ready? Like, immediately? I wonder if Luca's ready for me to ride with <laughs> to ride her now. She is talking about riding her, right? What else could she mean by that? Mm. Kitty son, I'm ready for you. You are? Uh, um, don't worry. I'll Huh? <laughs> I spoke with the manager and I got him to order one of these sweet rides I was talking about. I get it. Okay, so this is how we unlock Super Hang On, Super Hang On in Fantasy Zone. I've never heard of Super Hang On before, so this is kind of interesting. Uh, it's the hot new motorcycle racing game, Super Hang On. <laughs> you dumbass. <gasps> What's the matter? Don't you like motorcycle racing? I love games like this. I thought you'd want to go for a ride. Oh, sorry. I, it just wasn't what I was expecting. It's fine. It seems like a sweet ride. <laughs> Oh, haha, <laughs> great. I really pushed the manager for it, so I'd feel terrible if nobody wanted to play. Hop on whenever you want. Yeah, I will. Super hang on, huh? It looks like fun. Hey, Luka-chan, can you help me over here for a sec? Sure thing, I'm coming right now. Well, you have a good time then, kitty son I look forward to talking more about racing games sometime.
I guess this is the only action I'll be getting tonight. Well, you can now play Super Hang On, and we've befriended Luca. That's all we did. We befriended, and that's all it was ever going to be. <laughs> Oh, poor dude. Well, you know, we just got it. Why don't we uh, give it a try? Though I should probably go back and uh, and reap my rewards real quick. Hold on. Oh, Kiryu-san, I heard from the manager at Yurizake that you work in real estate. Man, the Yurizake guy knows a lot of people. Yeah, that's right. I don't suppose you'd be interested in managing this place too, would you? I'd love to. Huh? You really want me to? Sure, it'd be a pleasure. Great, I don't know the details, but all the financial dealings in Kamadocho are making it hard to keep a store afloat here. The manager was complaining earlier. With someone trustworthy like you handling it, we'll feel a lot better. Thank you for helping out. Sounds good, Luca. That smile makes it worth it at the end of the day. Okay. And that's that. But while we're here, we may as well uh, play some Super Hang On. I have quite a few plates to sell. Uh, but what is the score that I actually need to get? in Super Hang On. That would be the question of the hour. Um, where is it at? Uh, five million. Okay. Doesn't seem too bad. How similar is it to OutRun? Let's give it a play. <laughs> what a goober. He's so great. Okay. Accelerate turbo switch break. Okay. Well, the turbo switch seems the same as like shifting gears. Okay. Well, we need to definitely choose this one. Okay. Uh, I've never heard of this game in my life. So let's just go with the beginner stages. Outright a crisis. We'll take hard road. Why not? Okay. It seems like it was definitely made by the same people, though, um... Alright, what does the turbo switch do? Can I use it at all? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it was definitely made by the OutRun people, but... Or at least in, like, the same... I don't know if it would count as, like, an engine <laughs> back then. But, like, it definitely has a similar thing going for it, though it's a lot newer. You can tell, even just by, like, the frame rate difference. It's a lot smoother. Didn't Nintendo have a game like this? Like, like, Mock Rider or something? I think it did. So, that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm at 280. Oh, but I can... Maybe go even higher? Yeah, yeah, that, that's what the turbo switch is for. Okay. Oh, we're, we're gunning it now. Okay, so... Is there any checkpoints or anything? Or is it literally just... You gotta be the goat. Oh yeah, there is checkpoints, that's right. Okay. Um, okay. Well, this seems... Honestly, a little bit... Easier than OutRun, I say as I crash. Overall, this doesn't seem quite as bad to me, I don't think. Personally. So when we reach 280 kilometers per hour, that's when we can turbo switch and go real nuts with it. I mean, this is a a much higher score than um, I got an outrun ever, but also like I'm still 1.5 mil away. So I wonder what the strategy here is. Seems interesting. I don't dislike it. Okay, so I am going to just keep playing it until I get the score like I did the uh, the other ones.
All right. Well, I I certainly did it. I quite like that. That that's a lot of fun. It's kind of basically just like a a simpler, more streamlined version of uh, Outrun. At least when you're playing it with a controller. I assume when you're on the arcade machine, it's different because Outrun has like like an actual steering wheel and like pedals. And this one, it looks like to me that it might just be that you actually have to tilt the bike in order to turn, which would probably make it quite hard to actually do. So there we go. There's a, another game in the, uh, in the basket. And I remember there being a clerk that I couldn't do anything with in Majima's side as well. And I assume that's how I get Fantasy Zone. And I'm really excited to play Fantasy Zone because I've played it a pretty significant amount before. And uh, I guess that's that for uh, Sega High Tech Land there. How are my businesses going? Quite well. Okay, well, I have a, uh, a whole lot of money right now. So I think I want to uh, go around in the Electronics Kings district. Brain, can't, can't process that sentence. And the first building I walk up to is purchasable. Um, Asai building number three. It looks like they have a bunch of little bars as tenants here. What should I do? Uh, I would love to buy it. Wow, 51 mil. Okay, things are getting expensive. Uh, high roller, spend 1 billion yen. Very cool. Okay, well, I think this is going to start getting me some, uh, some real fat dough here. And I found another building called Tenpo Sushi. The sushi isn't the best, but for 100 yen, a plate on a conveyor belt. Can't complain. What should I do? Uh, another 51 million? Sure, we'll go for it. Uh, and that gets us some more completion points. Okay. And there goes all of my money once again. C Classic. Oh, oh shit. Nice, I got another rod. Okay. Well, uh, oh, okay, somebody is stopping me from collecting over here. Naughty, naughty. Who could be standing up to President, uh, Judgment Kazikun? <laughs> uh, okay, he's over here, like, actually in the shrine, it would appear. So let's hop on in here and see who the hell it is, you. Those delinquents are causing problems in this area. Should I deal with them now? They'll probably put up a good fight. Uh, opponent's strength strong. We'll go for it. Uh, yo, dude, check this geek out. You're that Kiryu guy from Yamanoi's place, right? Yeah, I heard there were some guys causing trouble around here, and I need you to stop. That's funny. I don't recall you being the guy giving orders in the Electronics King's domain. Get in line. Okay. Well, let's fucking get him. Beast time. Motorcycle. Let's go. Very good. Okay. And let's do a nice little deal there. That motorcycle's so fucked. I don't owe anybody for that. <laughs> wow. Okay. A strong opponent? Sure. I, I guess I was overthinking that one. <laughs> this does not compute. <laughs> uh, you solved the problem in the Electronic King area. The payout gauge in this area is operational again. Cool. I was able to solve the problem. Now all I have to do is wait for profits to start loading back up. Hell yeah, man. Oh, got a money battle with the uh, the Electronics King. Doesn't seem too difficult. It's going fine. There we go. Okay. No problem. Another point for me. We are progressing faster through the Electronic King's district than I thought we were going to. So uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, this isn't quite as daunting as I once thought it was, so that's very nice news. Okay, let's send them out once again. And I want to basically swap teams here, uh, essentially. So let's uh, take out... Um, oh, never mind. She's still on duty, so I have to select somebody else who's really mid. Man. All right, I think it's time for us to invest in ourselves once again uh, a little bit more. Let's get the uh, the last 30,000 costing one. Actually, there's there, there's more. Never mind. I'm a liar. Um, but uh, we got Regard 2 now. And we can get uh, more heat gauge when we taunt the enemy. And then what does this end up unlocking? Uh, Brawl Mastery Spirit. Uh, boost the damage of your counterattacks while in heat mode. Okay. Cool. Sounds good to me. And then we will take this one. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, I was I was reading that wrong. I didn't expect it to go away immediately, and I thought I still had thirty thousand more, but that's fine. Uh, Brawl Mastery Wrath. 
When your first attack after the start of battle sends an enemy flying, the heat gauge will fill to the third bar. Wow. Okay. Um, that sounds excellent. And then after that, we're going to start getting to uh, 100,000 yen skills. And that is where things are starting to get a little bit spooky until we continue on with Real Estate Royale. I was curious if these were going to get more expensive and how I was going to actually be able to, uh, to afford any of this. So uh, I'm glad that there is a, a pretty reasonable and fun way to do so. Uh, okay, so next up, uh, I think it has been far too long since we have focused on a mini game, we basically haven't done any mini game focusing other than the uh, the arcade stuff that we just did since like pool a long time ago, very early on. And I saw that there was a a telephone club option, and I'm very curious what that entails. So I think uh, before the next chapter, I want to do the telephone club, and I want to uh, give a shot at uh, pocket racing because that sounds super fun as well but the telephone club is currently calling my name because i am a uh, a lonely man in the late 80s in japan and i need to pay money to talk to women on the phone kind of sad but you know um it existed for a reason it must have worked and the women must have gotten something out of it for sure uh, otherwise, they wouldn't have been doing it, I think. So, um, let's head on in. Oh, wait. Moscow Western Cuisine. This is a viable building. Okay. They serve light meals first thing in the morning. Perfect for folks who have been up all night. What should I do? Uh, not buy that right now. Good God. Okay. I just saw that... <laughs> that mascot logo. Oh, Wow. Look at that poster on the left. God damn. Okay. Uh, welcome to Telltale Boys Club. Brighten up your day chatting with fun young ladies. I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say that you are a sub story. I, I have a feeling in my gut. So this is a telephone club. Huh? Ah, is this your first visit to our establishment? Uh, yes, first okay. time. Oh, what a deep manly voice you've got. Something wrong with that? Yeah. No, no, on the contrary. In telephone clubs, it's the voice that matters. I can tell you, you're going to be a popular with the ladies. If you say so. I don't know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> of course, please allow me to explain. Okay. What is this? Describe your body. Oh, no. Uh, this is a telephone dating simulation minigame. Why did I come here? Uh, but with the mechanics of a shooting game. Huh? Aim well to have your characters say all the right things, keep the conversation going, and convince the girl on the other end to go on a date with you. Waiting for a call. Girls will call into the telephone club every now and then. It's basically just a phone tender. Uh, when the phone rings, an input icon will appear on the screen. Press the correct button quickly to pick up the phone. If you do not answer in time, the girl will hang up, and you will have to wait again while the clock keeps ticking. Um, okay. Interesting. Uh, chatting up a girl, one out of three. Once you pick up the phone, the conversation begins. To chat a girl up successfully, you will need to choose the correct dialogue options without being too distracted by fantasies. Try not to offend or creep the girl out. Um, different dialogue lines will float around the screen. This is just dang and rampa. Uh, once you find your desired response, charge your telephone beam by rotating and holding right stick. Aim with L and then release right stick to shoot your line. Okay, what the fuck? Uh, shoot the right dialogue lines to build up the mood. But if you hit the wrong words, your character might say something that could upset the girl. Upset a girl too many times and she may hang up on you. If you want to hang up, hold L1. This can be useful if you get a bad feeling about a girl based on how she sounds. Not every color will be your type and her voice can be a clue. <laughs> uh, there are some personal questions you can only ask when the conversation is going well and the girl is in a good mood. The vital question roulette might pop up when that happens. This is insanely in-depth. What the hell? Uh, the first roulette enables you to ask about the girl's body, and the second about her face. With this info, your idea of what the girl looks like will grow more detailed. The third roulette will let you ask the girl out on a date. Succeed in picking the right line, and she will agree to meet with you. Um, the choices will be spinning quickly, but the right one will be highlighted. Press the X button when it is at the front. Okay. That's in a nutshell. Got it. Girls call in. I pick up the phone. 
Exactly. Uh, some of the ladies call in with romance in mind, while others may want to have a nice chat or just see what we're about. It's all good as long as people can connect with others who are looking for the same thing. In other words, I need to figure out what the other person's looking for. Couldn't have put it better myself. A clever man like you must have a high demand among the fairer sex. <laughs> you tell that to every customer who gets their hopes up, don't you? <laughs> oh, no, I assure you. And, well, there's no, desi- there's no denying you've got an amazing voice, too. True. Just well, anyhow, come to Tell Tell Boys Club. Uh, brighten up your day chatting, w- chatting with fun young ladies. We have several deals tailored to your needs. Um, we'll, we'll do the short course just to see what it's like first. I'll show you to a booth, uh, your booth. Fingers crossed you meet someone special. This is so odd. Okay. Very foreign to me. Let's do this. Okay. So I got three minutes. X. Oh oh, oh my god, that's so sick. Why is that so dramatic? Moshi moshi. Moshi moshi. Okay, um. Okay, um. Manly voice. Nope. You have, you have a, a manly voice. <laughs> I just want to see what this is like. Yep, that sucked. You do have a good voice. I'm a nympho. What the hell? Uh, I'm nervous. Oh, okay. This is really difficult. This is really weird. Okay. All right. Um. Hello. Can I can I hit this one? Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, something more personal. Um. Do your work. Do you work? Do you worry? Do you walk? Um, do you work? Cool. The fucking women in the background are so funny. I love your body. Or describe your body. Wow, brain. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, um, I bet you are popular. Damn it. Okay. Oh, I had it too. The whole rotate and shoot thing is really weird. Maybe a little. None. Uh, mothball, baseball. That's the one we want. Basement, meatball. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, how old are you? Um... You sound old. You some old bag. You sound like a yak. You sound tough. You sound young. What's your face like? This is so goofy. <laughs> Good God. Short hair's good. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, keep talking. Keep taking. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, that's weird. 
Okay, I understand how this works now. It's so weird. Um, I would like to exit and take a uh, a longer session. I think now that I actually understand what's happening here. Okay, I got you. So I wonder what kind of um, what kind of things are going on with the completion list and the telephone club. Befriend Haruki, befriend Ayaka, befriend Riku. Okay, is that is that it? There's also the disco. I forgot about the disco. That would be that would be fun to do as as Majima, I think. Um, uh, yeah, that looks like all there is is just what, what, earn a total of one million yen in cat fights. Where the hell do I pay to watch cat fights? Oh my god. Okay. Um. Well, let's let's do some more telephone club. This is kind of fun in a weird way i don't know okay i definitely don't think i need a, a long course let's try a medium save a little bit of money you know what i'm saying we had to see this sick animation again or not man it got me. It got me one extra minute. Oh, there it is. I see. Okay, that's right. Moshi moshi. Moshi moshi. Okay. Uh, you have a very oversounding voice. Okay. Um. There we go. Ooh, okay. That's pretty cool. I'm an info. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this one... This one's doing it for me a little more than the last one. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Sure. Oh my god. Okay. The funnel cake. Fun to talk to. Oh my god, that was close. Oh, really? Um, trendy. Twenty. Twelve. Jesus Christ. This is so... <laughs> you sound young. Not necessarily. How old are you? Good God. Good Lord. Okay. Um, getting along. Nope. Got to be real careful. We got plenty of time. Oh, come on. Why is it so big? Okay. There we go. Nope. Boom. Oh, man. You think? Hmm. What's your job? Uh, Riku Ehara. Real exciting real estate. Let's be honest. 
不動産関係だ遊び慣れてそうね<笑>そうだなドキドキしちゃう I'm kind of whiny. I'm tiny. It's destiny. It's so rainy. <laughs> I love these these incorrect lines. They're so funny. Night. Oh no. Oh no. Huh? Okay. Okay. We didn't fail. We didn't fail. Okay. I wish we could talk somewhere quiet. Me too. Damn it. Not me. My toe. Mangoes. Come on. This is getting really difficult. Okay, okay. Boom, got it. You gotta lead it a little bit. What do you want to do now? Okay, um... Yeah, let's find out about her first kiss. No! <laughs> Bruh, come on. What do you want me to call you? Ironheart, Sweetheart, Stewart. Sweetheart's good. You think? Alright, come on. Good body, good buddy, dead body. Okay, there we go. She is so aggressive. Can we meet? Good Lord. Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> Love. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay. We can meet in front of the theater. Okay, come quickly. My name is Kiryu, by the way. I'm Maria, looking forward to, uh, to some fun with you. What will you be wearing? I'll be the short-haired girl dressed in purple. Don't get it wrong. So it's short hair and purple clothes. Got it. Okay. Well, let's go meet her in front of the theater then. That wasn't one of the girls that... were in the, um... in the deal, in the completion list. The Predator's Call, and it's a sub-story. Okay. Maria might be here already. Hmm? This is her? Okay. Okay. She says she wear purple and has short hair. Is it her? Huh? Am I imagining things? What? No, it's not my imagination. This woman, that's not how she described herself. Is this Maria? She's not what I guessed from her voice, so I cut it and run. Nani? What? Yeah. Um. Oh, hello. Might you be Kiryu san? Uh, yeah. Are you Maria? Oh, yum, yum, yum. What a body you have on you. Okay, good lord. So do you. Oh, how fresh, you naughty boy. But don't get me wrong. I like that. Well, my little lion, let's not dilly-dally. She's not horrible, but like... Wh what do you mean? Where are we going? Oh, come on. Don't play innocent with me. You know exactly where we're going. On a safari. Wait, hold on. We should slow down, get to know each other as friends, and... You are such a tease. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well... GG, Kiryu. I guess I got a little bit too into that one, huh? I'll see you later, telephone boy. Probably not. But hey, 
that's how online or on the telephone line dating works. Telephone clubbing's no walk in the park. It's like a jungle out here. Well, it's interesting that that was still like a sub story. Uh, okay. Um, I think I want to do at least one more. Uh, okay. Um, let's do let's do one more medium course just to play it safe. It doesn't hurt. Saving one thousand yen is doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? Like it's just like whatever. <laughs> This is like the same dialogue. <laughs> yeah, this is just the exact same dialogue as before. But the voice sounds different. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna hang up probably because that is a a copy paste of the last girl just a different voice huh okay I'm gonna I'm gonna see this through and I'm gonna see if this is the same the same quest line because again it's a different voice so I'm interested to see where this leads Okay, well, I failed and asked if she was a man. Um, oops. Uh, I was getting bad vibes, though. It's too... It's too flirty. But again, the voice is different. So if I get her again, I'm going to see that one through. So who do we have now? Is this the same? Um, sounds older. Again. Yes, I saw that. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna bail on this one too, I think. I feel so judgmental and awful. I don't like <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, good voice. Do you work? Okay, it's this girl again. Um, I want. I, I really want to see this through. See where this one goes. All right. Well, I got in touch with the uh, suspiciously similar dialogue but different voice lady. So I'm glad that I can see where this goes in front of the theater. Kiryu, I'm Ayaka. I think that was one of the names. Let's have some fun, Kiryu-san. What will you be wearing? I'm wearing purple clothes and I've got long hair. Can you remember that? Sure, purple clothes, long hair, I'll find you. Okay, so this is quite similar. Um, Are we doing the exact same thing again? Ayaka might be here. The sexy hookup. Okay, this is different. I'm, Ayaka might be here already. Hmm? Okay, looks more promising than before. Uh, she said purple clothes and long hair. Is that her? I should introduce myself. She likes Sega, so she's based. <laughs> what the? That's pink. There's another woman there who looks like she fits the bill, too. Which one is Ayaka? Um... Let's, let's take the, the closer woman. It's the closer woman. Come on. Are you Ayaka? Ayaka? She's not quite what I imagined back at the phone club, and her voice is a little off. But you never know, people do sound different on the phone. Yes, me, Ayaka. Wait, her Japanese is a little off, too. I'm Kiryu. Sorry to keep you waiting. Kiryu, son. Nice to meet you. No, not Kuryu. Oh, she said Kuryu. Kiryu. Oh, very sorry. Kill you, son. <laughs> I hungry. Very hungry. Okay, we can get some food, I guess. What would you like? 
I like Chinese food. Chinese food, huh? Is there a place around here? I know good place. My Pengyo work there. Pengyo? That's not Japanese. Are you really Ayaka? What? Y you say I lying? I thirsty. I want oolong tea. Your pronunciation's a little off, except the oolong tea part. You're not Japanese, are you? Cheap man, so useless. Bye, Kikujiro-san. Who are you calling Kikujiro? That was not the correct woman. I wonder if she stands around here trying to fake men out. That must mean the real Ayaka is... Damn it. She's gone. I missed my chance. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. And I didn't complete the sub story, huh? Damn it, man. Okay, one more round. Alright, so I got Ayaka again. We know it's not this woman. But th the one over there is wearing pink. Um, let's, I, I guess let's take a shot on the farther woman. It's gotta be her. Are you Ayaka? Nani? Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Oh, huh? What's your problem? Okay, so I guess moving in closer for a better look is the correct choice? Okay. Um. Well, I guess... Th <laughs> Here we go again. This is weird. Okay. Alright, well, third time's the charm, and also I'm noticing just now, way over to the left there, there's a third woman. I can't tell which one is Ayaka. I better be careful. I need a better look here. Aha! Yup. Okay. There we go. Nani? Wait. What? Okay. There we go. There's another woman who looks like the first two. Um, the farther woman is the correct one, for sure. It's the far woman. Come on. Don't make me do this again, please. Are you Ayaka? <laughs> it is her. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, okay. Now what? Hotel. Oh my god. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I had a good time too. Be seeing you. Would you mind if I called you again sometime? What, you can't get enough of me? Maybe. Here's where you can reach me then. Ayaka, I got Ayaka's pager number. I can now invite her to join me at certain date spots. Uh. What? I'll be in touch. I'll be waiting. Okay. Um, interesting. So this goes even deeper. All right. Well, I think that's something that we will probably save for next time. <laughs> I didn't know telephone clubs could be this much fun. Nice. Call me. Go on a date with a girl you met at the telephone club. Nice. Okay. Well, I think that uh, actually inviting her to... Um, other date spots is something that we will probably do in the next episode. So, oh, I heard that. Where is it? Okay. Uh, Riku Minato. Type A card. Cool. Alright, well, I think that that is going to be everything for today's episode of Let's Play Yakuza Zero Blind. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you want to follow my socials or join my Discord, they're in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time when we we're getting a lot of sub stories out of that so i think we're going to do more of that actually